Russian media reported that China's People's Liberation Army Rocket Force has successfully tested S-400 Triumph air defense system. As per reports, S-400 shot down a simulated ballistic target about 250 kilometers that's 155 miles, away and traveling at speeds of 3 kilometers 1.9 miles per second or almost Mach 9. China is equipped with S-300 for more than a decade and is the first country to acquire the dreaded S-400 system from Russia. It's received its first S-400 regiment in July of this year. It's reported that China has ordered two S-400 regiments for an estimated $3 billion. India is another country that will have the system soon. On the 5th of October, during India-Russia Bilateral Annual Summit held in New Delhi, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Russian President Vladimir Putin finalized the deal of S-400 Triumph Air Defense. India will get five regiments of S-400 and the contract is worth 5.5 billion US dollars. The delivery is expected to start in the next two years. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Chinese successful test of S-400 is an ominous sign for US, NATO and Israel. Let's get started. Russian S-400 air defense is a package consisting of radar, command and control center and interceptor missiles. S-400 can track hundreds of targets at a time, engage up to 36 targets in parallel and simultaneously launch 72 missiles. The system has powerful hardware integrated with state-of-the-art software in the back end. S-400 uses multiple radars depending on threat perception. The primary one is either the 91N6E Big Bird Acquisition and Battle Management Radar or 92N6E Gravestone Multi-Mode Engagement Radar. These have a range of around 600 kilometers. The main radar is complemented by target acquisition radars like 67N6 Gamma D and 9N6 Protivnik G radars in L band, Nebo SVU in the very high frequency band and Nebo M and Zebu M in multi band. Nebo SVU and Zebu M have claimed capability against stealth aircraft. The radars are very resistant to jamming. S-400 deploys multiple missiles to cover its strike envelope. One, short-range 9M96E, 40 kilometers, with an active radar homing head, having the capability to intercept targets having a speed of up to Mach 2.6. Two, medium-range 9M96E2, 120 kilometers, with an active radar homing head, having the ability to intercept targets up to a speed of Mach 3. Three. Long range 48 N6, 250 kilometers, with an active radar homing head, having the capability to intercept targets up to a speed of Mach 14. 4. Very long range 40 N6, 400 kilometers, with an active radar homing head, having the capability to intercept targets up to a speed of Mach 14. The vertical launch enables missiles of S 400 to have seamless 360 degree target envelope. Hence, these missiles are not only guided by radars of S-400 but also have own active and semi-active radar homing capability, enabling them to keep chasing fast and maneuvering targets till the last moment. Chinese S-400 regiments don't have the 40N6 missile, hence its engagement range is limited to 250 kilometers. The yet-to-be-delivered regiments of S-400 for India will have the 40N6 missile. Clearly, S-400 is a very capable system and is rightly considered to be a game-changer by many military experts. The fact that S-400 is effective against traditional aircraft as well as ballistic targets to a large extent makes it an all-rounder. Hence, a country acquiring S-400 will not have to spend on two different systems, making it very tempting options when it comes to cost-effectiveness. This could result in many more countries try to squire the system resulting in the creation of anti-air area denial bubbles being created in many parts of the world. America and allies heavily rely on air superiority to drive a battle and this kind of scenario will hinder this to a large extent. The most important factor is its proclaimed ability to take out stealthy aircraft. America, NATO as well as Israel is putting in big bucks to acquire F-35s whose ability to fight a battle is dependent on its stealth profile. 
If the S-400's radar is truly able to detect and generate quality track on F-35, then it will be a major headache for US, NATO and Israel since the missiles are good enough to take out F-35s, both in terms of speed and last moment homing capability. The S-400 deal between Russia and China signifies the strong defense ties between the two countries. The fact that Chinese rocket force is already aware of the working of S-300 enables them to quickly get used to S-400 and deploy it operationally. The test also acts as a solid advertisement for the S-400 system. It's to be noted that the Russian economy is not in good shape and sales of the S-400 to more countries will bring in much needed foreign revenue. Already Qatar has shown strong inclination to deploy the system and a deal is being discussed. Keeping in view the overall circumstances, Russia has a potent weapons platform in S400. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.